Evaluation of the osmolarity of tears collected from the meniscus provides an objective measure of global tear quality. Dry eye, irrespective of whether aqueous deficient or evaporative in nature, results in tear hyperosmolarity with a higher than physiological solute concentration. For the current commercial device that measures tear osmolarity in a clinical setting, it is recommended that the device is switched on well in advance of the measurement to ensure equilibrium. The test card should be stored adjacent to the device for temperature consistency. Each day before measurements are collected, calibration of the pens is checked with the blue calibration test cards provided. The test card is clipped into the pen and the pen returned to its cradle. An osmolarity reading of 334 or 335 indicates acceptable calibration. The calibration card is then removed and stored. With the device ready to be used, the patient is seated comfortably and the procedure explained. Opening the seal packet will reveal a new test card with a plastic cover, which is then clipped into the osmometer pen. When this is positioned correctly, a beep will sound and a green light will become visible on the pen. The operator then has two minutes in which to collect the sample after removing the plastic cover from the test card. Delayed sample collection results in the timing out of the device and the procedure would need to be started over with a new test card. Without delay, the patient is requested to look upwards and nasally to expose the lower temporal meniscus to the clinician. The nib of the pen is then lowered into the meniscus, taking care not to contact with either bulb conjunctiva or the inferior lid margin. The sample of tears will be drawn automatically by capillary action into the test card. When sufficient tear volume has been collected, around 50 nanoliters, a further beep will sound and the green light will go out. The pen is then withdrawn from the meniscus and transferred promptly within 40 seconds to the device cradle. Test cards are calibrated in batches during production. It is therefore important for calibration that the number shown on the device matches the number printed on the test card. As soon as the pen with the tear-filled test card is placed back in the cradle, there will be an option, for 8 seconds, to alter the number on the device to match that of the test card. Press the arrows to scroll through the options and select the matching number. The device will then automatically proceed to calculate the osmolarity and will display the reading in milliosmoles per litre within approximately 10 seconds. In the clinical setting, both eyes are tested in turn and the higher of the two readings is recorded as the osmolarity. Raised tear osmolarity in one or other eye or a high difference in osmolarity between the two eyes can be indicative of dry eye disease.